Habari gani ndugu na dada zangu? This simply translates to How are you doing? Or how are you my brothers and sisters? Ya subuhi hapa Which means that it's morning here And good morning to everyone Or good evening to where you are Whatever time It is at your place Sending my greetings So yesterday I went to Spice Town And uh I was doing a video about Spice Town and I realized that I was in the wrong area thinking it's uh, Spice Town It's because I was walking along the beach This beach is called uh, Haywood Beach but Only to realize that uh, I went and uh, I reached a place that was no longer Spice Town I was in company of my Kenyan friend whom I recently posted a video which is how she took me around her university So today I'm going back to Spice Town I want to redo the video. Just have to redo it. So I had to shoot another video there. Certainly. But uh, when I met him this morning and I told him I don't want to shoot the video today, let's postpone it to the weekend. And I found that the guy had forgotten that we had to shoot a video today. Is he dimensive? No. I think he's too much drugs. So, fellas, any kind of a drug in this is no cool. Quit it, fellas. Quit it. Yeah, this one I cannot tell you limit or you no. Know, just quit. And I know sometimes uh, it might be hard, but uh, you might seek help from a, a professional. Yeah, uh, people have been helped. Those who wanted to quit smoking, uh, be it cigarettes, marijuana, alcohol, yeah, look for a doctor or a professional. They will help you. You can fight it, fellas. Yeah, that's the advice I have for you this morning. Anyway, let's go. This is my friend here. She always appears on my videos. I don't know if it's a he or she. I think it's a she. So let's hurry up. I want to catch the ABC Highway bus. Yesterday, I had to go all the way. It's a uh, University of West Indies and catch a bus. It was a holiday and it was so hard to catch a bus. Then coming back, it was hectic also. We tried looking for a bus, waiting for a bus, it wasn't coming. So we had to take a bus from where we were to Spice Town. And now uh, we took a Bridgetown bus. Uh, dropped us uh, at uh, Iso Petrol Station, if you guys know it. Those who live in Barbados around the University of uh, West Indies. So today I'm alone. Hmm? Today I'll be boy alone in the streets of uh, Spice Town. Yeah. The previous days I've been in the company of uh, my sister. Yeah. And uh, we, had, we made amazing videos. Some of them I'm editing. I'll be dropping very soon. You know, the beauty of uh, doing a collabo is that uh, you get uh, to get perspective of, of from two different points, from two people. I heard someone saying that uh, there's no movie that was made by one person. You always get more interesting when you have uh, two or more people. But guess what? Okay, how is the solo person who always do solo movies? Yeah. But, uh, I'll do as much as possible to bring other people on board. You know, I rarely get people on the streets to interact with. But from now on, I will try as much as possible to bring more people on board. And you know, when you get to interact with people, you sharpen your skills of our interaction too. I need to start doing that and get better at doing interviews. Because you know what, guys? Where we are heading to, I will have to be doing interviews. Now, Soon, I might even be interviewing other doctors. So I should start practicing as early as now. 
who knows maybe one day you'll see dr mike on this channel maybe you'll see dr fauci on this channel maybe you'll see dr anthony yoon on this channel maybe you'll see mama dr jones on this channel and maybe you'll see rachel southard on this channel i hope i pronounced her name right yeah and many other doctors yeah and also maybe they will host me on their channels yeah so i have to do as much practice as early as now maybe i will be meeting this with doctors we work on the same platform which is a uh, youtube I just wanna know, wanna know, wanna know. Sylvan Organics Trowel Plastics. Gold machine. the gas station I need to go by other side and look for a bounce oh there's a vehicle coming here I need to catch the garment bus either the diesel one or electronic one oh let me cross hit the lights wow I hit them with a great force but I thought the I think the guys from the other side had hit the lights. Or maybe I cancelled it. Oh Dr. Harry must have cancelled it. Oh yeah, good to cross. Cross successfully. Dr. Harry is safe and sound. This is a market plan here. Ministry of Energy, small business and uh, enterprise or oh, entrepreneurship. So I think this is the design of the market they wanna put here. Like you see from the bottom, this is the gas station and the crossing lights. Let me show you. It looks exactly the same. So this is the gas station and the crossing lights. You see the way it looks? Then compare with this art or this design or proposal plan or a plan. Oh, there's actually a word there. Proposed uh, Redmond's Village Vending Park. That's good, the place will look beautiful. And more structures are being built. Like uh, inside there, there's a very big structure being built. I don't know what it is. Ah, I came to the wrong side, man. This is not the side I should be. I need to go to the other bus so if I came to this one. Oh, poor Dr. Harry, are you now turning dimensive? No, I think uh, it's because I'm just used to this one. I never take a bus to this side. But anyway, Mistakes do happen. So I was mistaken of the bus stop. I, sh I should be it. I have to cross again. With the procedure, press the light. Push button for pedestrian to cross. Uh, oh, the lights are working. Let me cross. Now that we crossed, I need to head to the other side. What is not happening? Police! Still in Cryo Park. Yeah. The other side is Redman's Village across the road. I think that's St. Thomas and this is St. James. So this road is the separation. If I'm not mistaken, that's in St. Thomas. And this is uh, St. James. This is the bus, but it's going towards ABC. And I'm going to Spice Town. Yeah, I hope I catch it on time. So then you're going to school. Oh, 
long waiting for a bus, man. Same way. Bus is coming. Hope he's going to Spice Town. Getting down. Ladies and gentlemen, we just landed in Spice. This is the bus I came with. So, uh, government buses. Uh, they carry students to school, so they don't have to pay anything. They brought students and they all they never paying anything when they bought the buses. So let's roll and see what Spice Town has for us. So we have some food chilling here. Barbados has plenty. It's just that they never menu them. Even this one, some people menu them. They say they make pigeon soup in Jamaica. What you can see from this side, these are the bus station in Spice Town. Uh, yesterday, I think I was at the shore there. At the Haywood Beach. Mm, this is a Spice Town. No, my first time here because I was here yesterday. So I'll be lying to you if I say that it's my first time. I was here yesterday, but uh, we ended up only walking along 
Haywood Beach and uh, it was too late we had to go back home so this seems like a space station police station huh? hey young man don't you respect the police station what are you trying to do I say throw this bastard inside what is he trying to do don't you know the rules of Barbados but I'm just kidding police cannot arrest you in Barbados so don't take me figures of that so is it still the police station let's go at the sea I think it's more vibrant there solo man making movies hmm? want to give Netflix a run for their customers Netflix soon people will be ditching you soon we'll be talking about Dr. Harry and Chief hey. hmm. the time is up Netflix <sighs> the beach is decided yesterday at least there was a sign of life here. You went up to those bridges. Yeah. I hope there's a, a walk along this, this beach. I will appreciate. Yeah, I can see some one or two boats. Or are they catamaran? Catamaran cruises. Oh, there's another bridge here. I appreciate there's a walk along the beach here. I think I'll use that one instead of these stones. Wow, look at that. Let's walk along here. I dropped down successfully. I don't know, have I seen this on some pictures? Why oh, is not this place? Let me hope it's this one. Guys, uh, uh, Spice Town. I almost said Hull Town. Spice Town is the second largest city here in Barbados. It is located in uh, St. Peter's. Uh, this is uh, St. Peter's. I don't know what number of St. Peter's is in terms of our size parishes here in Barbados. This might be a restaurant. It just passed here. Let me just pass it. I don't know what's in the name of the restaurant. Let me move closer so that you guys can get to experience this. There's a spice town. Wow. The area looks beautiful, right? Can tell from the camera. The guy here was playing golf. Hello, I was asking, uh, what's the name of this resort here? What's the name of the resort? This one. I know it's Spice Town. I was asking the name of the resort, the beautiful resort here. Or is it a restaurant? Restaurant, yeah. Happiness or Okay. Thank you. Oh, I see the name. Happiness. Okay, thank you. No, I'm from Kenya. Kenya? Yeah. From, uh, Kenya is in Africa. Okay, I know. Yeah. So I, I see you have uh, golf. There's a golf field around. Okay. Huh? Oh. So, oh, Trinidad didn't have the same accent. Not all, but close. The resemblance, the. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you. I, I come from Kenya. Maybe sometime uh, you can get to visit Kenya. Yeah. It's a nice place. My name is Harry. Harry. Yeah. So I normally do YouTube videos. You can find me at Dr. Harry. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. 
if you leave a comment on youtube i'll get to you yeah okay thank you yeah so i'm just exploring uh spice town and i think uh many people have been recommending me to do a video about it so yeah thank you man yeah thank you yeah hello Hi. hello so there is this area i've seen these areas in pictures when i google about spice town there are some ladies in the background working out huh? prohibited activities or diving Littering, skating, cycling, skating again, high hills, yeah, no vehicle access. So, this is the beautiful bridge I normally see, right? Welcome to Spice Town, Jetty, Barbados Port. Okay, normally see this, uh, this bridge on the internet, it is very beautiful. Look at this pigeon can make pigeon soup out of you you want me to catch you wow so yesterday i walked along uh, haywood beach and i thought that i had explored spice town seems that i was very wrong oh, i almost saw those were sea birds is going on here mm. so I think if you want to if you want to board a boat you drop down here and get on it oh you can see plenty of fish fingerlings mm. I don't think I will sleep hung if I leave around on uh, space and I will come and fish if I get two fish, they can last me for a week. What do you think about that? The water is so clear. I don't know if you guys can see. But you can look at the water and see the stones are just here. Don't be mistaken. This place is too deep. It's too deep. Don't be mistaken. It looks very near though. But it's too deep. Spice stone. Ladies and gentlemen, you are hanging out with your favorite Dr. Harry. He's showing you around the Spice Tower, the second largest uh, city in Barbados. It's located in Barbados, St. Peter's. This is a boat, so if you want to board, you drop down here. I don't know if I can drop down here. So you drop from here come here and board the boat let me drop the trains oh. this is under the bridge this is a boat this is a motorboat let me go back There's another boat here. Ah, so people can sit up there. While the captain does his things down here. So he's uh, at the dock. You see? So I think this is what they normally call in Swahili Nanga. At least it you, you say Kungo Ananga. If I'm not mistaken. Where are you Swahili speakers? Swahili linguistic scholars, come and help me. Am I right about this? So I think this uh, bridge is being lit in the night. And there must be something very beautiful. Spanish town, Barbados. Oh, there's water here.
we're coming to the end of the bridge. The town is big, huh? Okay, I'm an explorer and I must explore. What is the work of an explorer? Exploring. So this is the bridge you can get down here on a boat or something. But you look at the sea, you feel like it's pulling you. Here's the pulling effect on the eyes. Campbell Scientific. These lights are lit by solar. Oh, there's a motorboat there. Spice Town. Is it a jet ski or a motorboat? Oh, it's a motorboat. I really love to ride a jet ski. If YouTube pays me enough money, why won't I do that? I know you guys were also recommending, oh, Dr. Harry, try some foods. Oh, I'm a poor student. I'm a poor YouTuber. I'm not rich. But anyway, if I get some few coins or if I save some change, I might want to continue doing that. Wow, jet ski. Oh, not jet ski, jet ski, motorboat. These are the things I would love to do. See, I'm living in Barbados and I've not tried this. It's so unfortunate. I would love to try this. <laughs> Just kidding. I am a lost boy from Neverland. Always running out of it. I think I'll try to go up to that structure there. Yeah. Once I reach that structure, I'll know that I've explored Space Town. But yesterday we were along this beach, Haywood Beach. I don't know if this one is still considered Haywood Beach. But let's roll. We shall ask as we roll. Spice Town is going down today. We must explore it to the full. We are leaving no stone and turn. Of an explorer. So, guys, this city was named after William Spite, or is it Spite? A member of a Barbadian assembly, yeah, during settlement. So, he was uh, the former owner of this land where this city is located. So, that's maybe the origin of the name Spice Town. That's the brief history I have in mind. Fort Co Coconut. Fort Coconut. It is a very calm city. So silent. So silent. What you see, what you see is what you might just get. Sales area. This looks like a market or something. Oh, Spice Town fish market. Yeah, it's a fish market. I wasn't mistaken. It's a very quiet city. Very silent. Let me give you a view from this side. There's a river here. What is the name of this river? I have no idea. Looking crazy. I'm giving you everything. There's some beautiful flowers here. Are they natural? Is it? Oh, looks like artificial, but I think it's natural. Are you seeing the flower I'm talking about? This one. But it's natural. It's beautiful. Spice town. Uh -huh. Let me try to peep from this side and see. Oh, this is the flower. Oh, it's artificial. <laughs> it's artificial. There it looks beautiful. Stead's Rum. Fisherman's Pub. Since 1936. That's too old. 
There's a river here. I don't know where it comes from. If it was somewhere else, these structures would have been demolished. Side. Because are you loving spice town? You have a reason to come and visit this town. Look at all this beauty. There's a very beautiful jeep here. Let me show it. It's gone. Spice town. So guys, uh, spice town is also called uh, the little the little Bristol. It's about 12 miles away from a bridge down the capital. How is uh what is the equivalence in kilometers? I'm taking you back to Max class. This let me convert 12 miles into kilometers. That is an assignment I'm leaving to you. Little Bristol Beach Park. Oh, I was just talking about Little Bristol and hi. Yeah. And there's Little Bristol here. When the day is done, all brigand run. Let's continue rolling. I think this city was founded or oh, was founded in 1963. That's too old. I can tell from the buildings. Chilling bar. Mm -hmm. Barbados is a place of luxury. So maybe during the evenings, boys and girls come to chill here and have drinks. Uh, mostly when you hear about, uh, you know, it's alcoholic drinks. So you can come and uh, have some drinks, but you know when you stay with people who drink alcohol, they might influence you. So uh, as you come to drink your soft drinks, Maybe one day you'll find yourself now drinking alcohol. It's not bad to drink alcohol. Uh, limit. Drink in moderation or avoid. Yeah. So let's go this way. There is a KFC here. Kentucky Fried Chicken. What is here? Home center. Well, you can see on this side. Mm -hmm. Omni Cooperative Center. Courts bringing value home. This is the city of Spice Town in Barbados. Courts bringing value home. Mm -hmm. But this is uh, a yeah. So there are some types of uh, alcohol that are that uh, have uh, health benefits, and uh, I think this is a red wine. Mm -hmm. And also some research was done it showed that uh, some types of beers they help balance microbiomes in our gut. So I don't really know much about that, but uh, I read that from my credible source. So maybe I'll find out more and tell you guys. Huh? But I'm not encouraging people to drink. There are other ways you can balance your mind by consuming yogurt loaded with our probiotics. Spice Town City. These are. BUW Cooperative. What is this building? Uh, this is a gallery of a Caribbean art. Okay. I'm trying to find the name of this street. In Bistro Town, also known as Spice Town. Some old buildings here. Caution, slippery surface. 
blue machine or this uh, Republic Bank the blue machine if I'm not wrong I'm trying to I see RBC I'm trying to look Hi, this is a bank? Uh, yeah. Okay, what bank is it? This is the uh, Republic Bank. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, they have even a city clock there. So that's the sea over there. There's Jordan supermarket here too. Jordan supermarket. Ladies and gentlemen, in case you're joining right now, we're exploring this city in Barbados called Spice Town. I don't know what you think. Is it beautiful? What do you think about this city? Eh? Yeah. Is it beautiful? This city is even older than Kenya. Hmm? Dollar wise. I'm sorry, I said that I, this city was settled in uh, 1963, no, it was settled in uh, 1630, so I'm wrong, which makes it uh, older than Kenya, but I, um, I don't mean that uh, Kenya wasn't existing by then. This is uh, Jordan supermarket, Western Union too is there. Spice Town. The town square. These are uh, upbeat nature discount. Just trying to show you what they offer there. Maybe let's follow this direction and see what is down here. Let's go this way. We explorers keeps loaded with that sugar. Left this uh, town to London. Yeah, that's Bristol. So I think that's where they got the name, uh, the little Bristol. These uh, are at the beach again. Once again at the beach, no exit. This is the Montanil tree they normally want about. Wow, what about? What about? We're still walking at the shores of uh, Spice Town or the Little Britain. Yeah, it's the Montanil tree. I'll keep on telling you about this tree. They normally say it's dangerous. Don't shelter under. Don't eat the fruits. It's incompatible with life. I can see some birds chilling there. Huh? Hello, buddies. Hello. Are you enjoying your stay here in Spice Town? Buddies. Oh. Why are you pooping on me, buddy? The bird is just pooping on me. Is this how you welcome Dr. Harry to Spice Town? That's bad manners, buddy. I mm. think this place is too rocky. People don't swim here. I can see one individual there enjoying or having a time of his life. This town is located here along the northwest coast of Barbados. And, uh, is a touristic area you can also enjoy shopping i think you have seen many shopping centers around like this one is jordan supermarket yeah let's roll i can see some beach resorts and hotels so that's where it was I came here yesterday and i thought i had done spice town i was lying to myself this town is very big and today, provided my charge holds on, you're leaving no stone unturned. You 
gonna explore this area until we finish. And I will not get tired. I have the energy of a horse. I got horsepower. Hmm? Maybe scientists should take me to the lab and investigate. Why is this man so strong? Why is he so strong? He can walk for longer distance. I've seen Ego. Oh, this is a dove. I thought he wanted to eat Mr. Squirrel. Squirrel was here. Hey, Mr. Squirrel. Don't hide from me. Where are you? Mr. Squirrel just hid in these rocks. He camouflaged, so it's not easy to see him. See some lobsters, they died along on these rocks. There are some snail shells. What is this? Eh? Let me not touch a sea creature. Then he bites me. Then I'll be rushed to Queen Elizabeth's hospital. There are some soft stones here. I thought they were fruits from this plant, but no. Because I don't know where they come from. I don't see any sign of such a thing on this tree up here. Let me drop down and see. Ah. I know you guys have been seeing me this shoe. It's because it's good for me when I'm exploring. It feels comfortable when walking around. There are some creatures here. I don't know if you can see some crabs or they are running away. You guys can see them? No. They ran away. So these shoes help me walk and enjoy walking because I have some rubber shoes uh, some of them are white I don't want to stain them I don't want to wear them wearing and tearing that's what I mean I don't want to wear them out so there's a tree here it lost its life maybe it was advanced in age or is because of uh, the erosion that occurred here the water uprooted it if it were in Kenya, you will have uh, split this into firewood and make some mandazi. In Kenya, most of our uh, fuel sources are firewood. Use firewood to cook. So firewood, we split trees like this. And then either cell or use it to cook. So it's up to you. Hmm, there are some creatures crawling around along this. Is this even a tree? Oh yeah, it's a coconut tree that fell. Okay, let's go back. And I need to climb here. Harry, it's time to apply your ac acrobatic skills. Will you? I'm a very strong man, man. There's more and more. We are not getting done. Oh, Spiro, you ran away again. I don't know why Mr. Squirrel is afraid of me. I'm allergic to squirrels. I don't eat squirrels. Why is he running away from me? I'm not even interested in squirrel meat. Maybe he doesn't even taste well. He shouldn't be scared. I'm not interested in squirrel meat. Wow. This looks like a cool place where if you don't know how to swim, you can come and learn from here. It's just a little. This is a beach resort here. I hope the bus will have on. We still have more areas to explore. Wow. Sometimes I think I'm overthinking. Sometimes I feel like overthinking. I start feeling anxiety. I try to escape. Wow, this is a beautiful beach resort. People are not here. It's not as uh, busy or vibrant as uh, Browns Beach in Bridgetown. If you come to Barbados, don't only stick in Bridgetown. You spend a lot of money on your ticket. Walk. Barbados has more to explore. See, we are in Spanish town. And the beaches are deserted. Or is it not yet time for people to come and 
take a swim here. Maybe they're still sleeping because it's too early. Notice the longest are for the property. The longest are the property of uh, Scorner Bay and are for the exclusive use of uh, residents and guests. Okay. So this is uh, Scorner Bay. Or is it the name of the resort? But I think the bay is uh, along the beach. So maybe this will be Scorner, Scorner Bay Resort of Hotel. Some men trying to lift a boat there. <laughs> They're strong, right? I'm sweating and, uh, and I did not carry a piece of cloth to wipe myself. Look at the mess of me. Why am I forgetting things? Huh? There's some area here, evacuation route. Move away from tsunami hazard zone. If tsunami occurs, you dash from here. Because the arrows are pointing there. We are still at the beach. They said it's gonna be. We're no longer in uh, Haywood Beach. But I can see this coastline is very nice. So that is where I came from. And you're still exploring. You know when you're walking along the coastline, you end up walking to a longer distance without you realizing. That's when you go to the mainland. Ah, you realize, oh, I've covered a lot. Huh? I've been doing this for the past 30 minutes. Or even more. Let's clear up this area. Then uh, we'll go to the other marketplace. After that, we shall be heading home. Home is a uh, horse village in St. James. Home. A place where I can be to take this off my shoulder. Someone take me home. Someone is snorkeling. I don't know if you can see him. Or is he he or her? Is he a human being? I think so. He is a human being. Hello, young man. Are you enjoying your time? Okay. So this is a beach resort. Wow, that is already settled. There's some little fellas there. They are playing with the, inside the water. Hi. Don't go inside the water without your parents. You might drown. Hello. I didn't see the parents. They were just around. But if they were alone, it's dangerous for kids to swim by their own. There's a beach resort here. My shoes are already wet, man. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. Good. I'm fine. You can see there's a beach resort here. What's the name of this resort? Cobblers Cove. Cobblers? Cobblers. Cobblers. Cove. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. My name is Sari, so I was showing around. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> My shoes are already wet. <laughs> anyway. <Yeah. laughs> Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah. How would I pass it? Let me try and see. Oh, it's dry, dry. It's dry, dry. So here is inside the resort. 
that's where I came from so we are still exploring Spice Town still have the morning energy oh there are people here so there's a catamaran cruise or is it a huge boat gigantic boat Choose that that again. How are you guys doing? Hi. There's plenty of pigeons and doves here. Wow, so beautiful. Getting a lot guys. So those kids when I saw them in the water, it reminded me of uh, a story of uh, a young little girl called uh, Myra Sanchez from Colombia. There's a tragedy or catastrophe that occurred. And uh, it was a volcano. It occurred in Colombia. I don't specifically remember the year. What happened is that uh, the people in that area is a mayor of village in Colombia, I think. Is it a mayor of area or village? So they had been warned that there was a, an impending volcano. Yeah. So the government was informed and they ignored it. Some people evacuated. Eva yeah. Some people took heed and uh, they moved to other places. And uh, some who ignored stayed there and trusted the government. So it came a time where the volcano now occurred. Yeah. So you know, when volcanoes occur, many things can happen. If the magma doesn't kill you, or is it the lava? Uh, what is it called? Okay, and don't die from magma or lava. You die from the water. You know, on top of mountains, we have uh, ice. So when the ice is exposed to heat, it melts and it turns into water. So you find that, that the water will flow down the mountain. And people who are around that area, they will be swept away with that water. Not only will you be swept by water, you see, the water is uh, flowing down at a great speed and force. And it's carrying some heavy stones. So you might find that uh, there are some sharp stones, even small ones can end up hitting you uh, cause a blunt trauma uh, heavy stones might land on you crash you so there are many things that can go wrong so what happened is that uh, the water flooded the Amero area in uh, Colombia yeah so this girl uh, Omaira Sanchez she was held by her aunt her aunt held her by the lower limbs and raised her high so that uh, she wouldn't drown in the water. So the aunt died and uh, she died when she had held uh, Omaira Sanchez from her limbs, her lower limbs. There's a jet ski here. So the water came and they were, she got trapped in some debris and it was so hard to remove her. People are looking at the possibility of uh, amputating her limbs, but they realized the water was too dirty. She might uh, die from bacterial infection, which might cause sepsis, might cause septicemia or multi-organ dysfunctional syndrome, which we call MODS, which is a, is a result of a bacterial infection that causes her sepsis. So you might amputate her and then she dies of sepsis. So she, she, she would have died in pain. So there was nothing that could be done. They tried draining the water, but it was too much. Um, the debris was so hard to remove. So Omaira Sanchez hung there for a while, but uh, they just had to let her go. She died. Yeah. Story was so painful. I don't know if I'm telling it or the right thing, but we might go check it or read the story about Omaira Sanchez small girl who died as a result of a treatment by debris that was brought up by water from the mountain. Now if you stay inside the water again for too long 
You might die of uh, hypothermia. Hmm? So there are many things that can kill you. Am I the only human being here? It looks like an area where people are not. Another condition we call bends or decompression sickness is common in a uh, deep sea diver. So I, was, I don't know if you have heard of a story of uh, someone called Harrison of, of something from Nigeria who stayed in water for too long. Yeah. He, he was the lone survivor. Wow. Getting lost is a very good way to discover places. So there's some it's just here as you can see. Let me pass here. <laughs> Getting lost is a good way to discover places. Look at this. I just landed here. Unknowingly, it's a very beautiful place. These are Spice Town guys. This golden. What is this? Huh? Is it a sea creature that died here? Or is this point someone was scrubbing themselves with? I have no idea. No, there are plenty. What is this, guys? Do you not tell me in the comment section? There's another one here. Are they sea plants? I have no idea. Help me. Wow. This place keeps on getting bigger and bigger. Anyway, let's do it. Ah, motorboat. Oh, he stopped. Is that how you park the boat? Can you give Dr. Harry a ride, a free ride? I would love to be given a free ride. Please. Could you consider that? Although I'm a broke fella. Hello. How are you doing? What's the name of this uh, resort? St. Peter's Bay. St. Peter's? St. Peter's Bay. Oh, thank you. So I was walking around, showing around my people back at home what they can find in Barbados when they come to visit. I'm saying I was walking around showing my people back at home what they can find in Barbados when oh, they visit. Oh, fine. Yeah. Okay. okay. So what is your name? My name is Malik. Malik? Yeah. Oh, I'm Harry from Kenya. You're Harry? Yeah. Kenya? Yeah. Nice. I've been here almost four years. Four years? Mm. But this is the only town I, I had never been to. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You say you've been here for four years? Yeah. Or you've been coming here for four years? I've been here for four years. Oh, you've been here for four years. Yeah. So I'm a medical student. Mm. I study, the, our university is in Warrens. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah. Enjoy your day, man. Yeah, thanks for the info. Oh, you <laughs> Yeah. Let's see if we can. So that's where I came from. I'm gonna do what I do wrong. I'm gonna do right. Cause I'm a trap star, a dog star. So 
some people enjoying their swim. Wow, Dr. Harry is tired. Wow, are you coming to carry Dr. Harry? Must have known that I wanted to ride this thing so bad. I'm gonna make it all tonight. Someone on that seat or something. Wow, that looks so smooth. I think they wanna they wanna go and ride. Yes, Person who recommended this place to me. Her name is Jean Belgrave. She always tells me, Dr. Harry, don't leave before you go to Spice Town. Yeah, they wanna ride, I think. I would have rode with them, but I don't have money. I'm contemplating between paying school fees, paying rent, buying myself food, and riding boats. So you find that uh, basic needs come first. Need shelter, I need clothing. So both are additional luxury. Unless I have extra change. That's when I will consider going on the boat. Oh, they're boarding. Have a lovely time, fellas, ladies and children. The world's sharpest object is actually soft and formless. This will actually surprise you. What object do you think that is? Your guess is as good as mine. This is the world's sharpest object. Water. Ask me how. When water or water is pressured to a thousand gigapascals and falls through a 0 0.5 millimeter nozzle, water becomes the world's sharpest blade. Even the hardest material in the world has to admit defeat when faced with this great force. The hardest material in the world is diamond. So even the hardest material in the world has to admit defeat when uh, faced with this great force. Wow, the area keeps getting larger and larger. And how will I get to the road? Okay, let's continue rolling. It can break bulletproof glasses. It can break uh, rocks. It can even turn iron into a meshy paste. So the world's sharpest object is soft and formless, which is water. Did you know that? The benefit of watching Dr. Harris' vlog, he teaches you things that you will never have learned. Hmm? Apart from showing you areas around, Dr. Harris teaches you things that you will never have learned. This is a private property, no access, no trespassing. Wow, this area feels cool. The shed came in handy. I'm not yet lethargic. I still have got the energy. Because I'm built different with the power of the horse. You know, where I come from, we used to hike on hills, mountains. So this is nothing to me. We are used to this. And also, when you do this kind of exercise, you know, uh, you bring justice to your body. Hmm? 
exercise is beneficial to your body. I've always talked about the benefits of exercise. A few people are used to watching my videos. I told you a lot about benefits of uh, exercising. Cheapest form of exercise one can afford is walking. You don't need any athletic skills. Just a good pair of shoes. Hmm? You are good to go. Anyone from any age group, any health status, I'm protecting. There's a restaurant here. Hope I'm not trespassing. There's some coconuts here. What are we gonna eat? Coconuts. Coconut. Drop some in the water. I want to drink some coconut water. Let's drop down here. Hey. Oh, there's a body. I thought it was a coconut falling. For a while, I was a bit scared. I hit my head and get a concussion. This consciousness and fall. There's a stone here. Yes? Huh? Oh, I was doing a video, that's why. But I wasn't intending to swim. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it makes me want to swim. I know that. I yeah. Tell you. Yeah. So I'm Harry from Kenya. Kenya? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm exploring Spice Town. Uh -huh. I'm exploring Spice Town. Spice Town. Yeah. Spice Town. Yeah. Yesterday I came here, but I went to the other side. Uh -huh. And I realized I was not in Spice Town anymore. Yeah, yeah. Because I went further. Yeah. Because people send me to come and do a video about Spice Town, I saw they would be disappointed. Let me just go back. Yeah. Uh, so I knew they would be disappointed because I did not show them Spice Town. Okay. So I had to come back. Yeah. Yeah. Spice Town, um, Spice Town itself is further down for the bar, for example. Oh. Yeah. They will be very, that's a tricky thing. Yeah. <laughs> so let me finish this course, then I'll go back to right, right, the right. town. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Next what's your name? What would you write here? Juju. Oh, you know I came with these shoes. I thought I wouldn't encounter water. Okay. Only to walk here and the water entered my shoe. Mm -hmm. I know that. Now you see it's dirty. Okay, you, you will deal with it. Yeah. So my name is Juju. Yours? My name is Harry. Sorry. Harry. Harry. Harry, Harry Potter, Harry. Harry. Yeah. Okay. You said Juju? Yeah. Okay. So nice to meet you, Harry. Yeah. So maybe Kenyans are seeing you, Nigerians, people from Africa. You see people from here? Yeah. I see the hospital Okay. Is there a hospital around? Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. Let me continue exploring. Okay. Nice to meet you. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. That's a construction worker here. He was telling me this is the wrong attire for the beach. But I wasn't coming to swim though. Wow. People with the boat. Some people chilling here. Do I have access here? Let me see if I can pass to the other end. And walk on these rocks. Oh, there's a jet ski. Guys, let me step on this rock. Step on this one. Wait for the water to go. Step on this one, step on this one. Oh, almost knocked me down. I hope I'll get a way to get to the main road. Uh, and anyway, I guess I have to continue rolling. The water is clear here. here. Uh. <laughs> 
So there's a restaurant here. Let's continue rolling. The struggles Dr. Harry go through. Come on. Yes. Is there a way here? I just have to trespass, guys. I love to trespass here. I don't see other ways. Let me step on this one and step on this one. Okay. Yep. If I had a way to drop on that, that rock, I would have followed it. But anyway. I have no other words but to trespass. Let me see how I can trespass. There's a crab here. You, do you know where we come from? We eat crabs. Ah. Huh. I felt effect up with the Stomach. I feel, like, I feel some pain in my bone organs. Oh, the jump was great. It was from a great height. Let me drop from here. These are tamarind. Light. Forever and ever and ever. Forever. Still exploring. Still have forty three percent battery charge. I don't want to be in the field. I don't know if you are still in Spice Town. Maybe you might have a straight further from Spice Town. I told you walking along the coast might trick you that you are just here but you've covered a long distance when you go to the mainland you realize that are you done a lot let me walk along here there's a beach resort this one is a sunset bridge hi yeah Sunset Rich. Hope you saw the name. I'm still at 43%. If I reach 30%, I'll go back to Spice Town, finish the town, take a bus back home. Yeah. What is happening to my music player? Don't tamper with my playlist. Oh, the road is here. This is the road to Bridgetown. I wasn't aware I'm already at the road. Then I feel safe. I'll we'll just drop back to the road. Go back to Spice Town. Take a bus. But meanwhile, let's continue rolling along this coast. There's one particular place I was uh, planning to finish. We did not do it yesterday. So I'm planning to go and finish it. Let's brush up. Tell you guys, you can come enjoy a walk at the beach. Listening to the waves is a way of interacting with nature. If you're stressed, you have a lot to process in your mind. Depressed. Hmm? Come. Enjoy your walk at the beach, especially during evening times, morning times. Do evening jokes. Walk along the beach is a form of exercise. I told you the energy required to lift your foot from this sun huh? makes you burn more calories compared to if you're walking on a flat land. So this seems to be a result. 
if I'm not mistaken. There's a jet ski there. I would love to ride a jet ski. But my bank account doesn't allow me. My bank account only allows me to walk along the beach. But not ride the jet ski. So terrible. We're having good times here. Yeah? Oh, this water. My guy with the jet ski. Hello. I would love to ride, to ride the jet ski. How much is it? I would love to ride the jet ski. How much is it? 125 US. 25 US? 125 US. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, maybe I will come another day. <laughs> Yeah, Many people are watching, you know, and uh, you can tell them if they come here, advertise your business. Mm, that's fine. Yeah. That's so 125 US. Yes, sir. 30 yeah, okay. minutes. So what does it take for someone to ride a jet ski? Can, if a person knows how to ride a motorbike, can he ride this one? You can drive a car. So these are the activities you can come and enjoy here. You see that it's called Great Big Marble. There's a red flag here. I told you when you see red flag, it means that uh, it's danger. It means danger. So the waves are not great. I don't know why. There's a red flag. Maybe it's because of the construction here. Maybe. Jet ski. Wow. But they said riding is uh, 135 years. Riding is uh, 125 US. So these are beach resorts and hotels in uh, Spice Town. Wow. We're still exploring. The shows of uh, Spice Town.
Let me try. Wow. These are the things I had not experienced in Barbados. Why was I living without experiencing this? Check this out. Check this out. Royal West Moral. Hmm? Royal West. Oh, Royal Westmoreland. Royal West. Moreland. Royal Westmoreland. The Beach Club. Oh, bus, wait for me. Why are you leaving? Without me. It, and it dropped. No, it's not stopping for me. There's someone alighting. So I think, uh, maybe turn here. We'll finish Spice Town. After we finish Spice Town, then we are free to roll back home. Larry Rogers. Larry Rogers at uh, Mulling Bay, Beach Bar and Bistro. Tell you guys, this is an Italian word for restaurant. That's when we are looking at a QP bistro that's in Painsby. So I want to get you to get that view. Very beautiful. Look at that. And that's where I came from. Which is what is it? Legend God. Huh? Legend Garden. I can't see the last word. Sundown in Bela. Golden times. So this is a legend garden. Oh, it's golden. Golden light. What is it? Legend Garden. Seems that I went far. There's some beautiful flowers here. You know I love flowers. I'm there for it, not there for it. I'm perspiring like something else. For sale. Villa rental. Rubies. Think I should cross the other side because there's a walking lane. Food mart, 24 hours. This is what brought me here. Good news. And to show this beautiful town of our Spice Town. Spice Town. So this is a garbage truck. Master garbage. Garbage master. of transport here. The yellow buses. This is the gas station. There's a multicolored structure here. Looks like a resort a restaurant. Looks beautiful. say oh i don't mind being on camera but others why 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 are you putting me on camera you understand some people are not comfortable with cameras but you don't have to be so dramatic of course you see huh? there's more and more moment we think we are done no we're not done we keep on discovering more and more see there are more restaurants beach and hotel beach restaurants and hotels and resorts. Shadibu. 
So guys, I told you about Chato houses. These houses used to be owned by free men. They are portable houses. We were at the back of the, this restaurant. We were at the back of this restaurant. Let me get a glimpse of this one. Harry is trespassing. Harry is trespassing. The moment you will be arrested, that's when you land, Dr. Harry. You keep on risking. Now, see, you have trespassed. What if this is someone's homestead? I hope you guys can visit me and bring me some Moby when I'm incarcerated. When I'm behind bars, no one is there to bring me food. You guys will. Bring me some Moby. Oh, Spice Town Express. Spice Town Express. Beautiful, beautiful is the only word I can use to describe Spice Town, the second largest city in Barbados. I almost said Kenya, St. Peter Avenue. Don't forget, guys, you are rolling with Dr. Harry, and he's in St. Peter, St. Peter's capital, which is a uh, Spice Town. These are the amazing things you can come and uh, experience and enjoy in uh, Spice Town. So this one is called St. Peter's Bay. St. Peter's Bay. Told you my bank account is not that heavy enough to allow me to get inside here. I can only afford to walk along and admire. Maybe sometime. We might have in our pockets and find ourselves enjoying this. It first takes admiration. You admire. Then you say, hey. Why can't I? Why can't I? Mm -hmm. You know, for me, the kind of lifestyle I want to live is one that... Uh, I was saying that uh, the kind of lifestyle I want to live is one that... Uh, I can afford what I need. If I need to eat this kind of food, I can buy it. If I want to travel to Miami, I can afford tickets. If I want to travel back home in Kenya, I can afford tickets. That's the kind of life I desire to live. And uh, let me show you here before we roll. So this one is uh, Limington. Leamington or Leamington, Leamington. Cobblers. Huh? It's called Cobblers what? Cobblers Cove. So these are Cobblers Cove. So I think these are the exit they said uh, evacuation for tsunami if there's a tsunami people can evacuate from there you know yesterday we were looking for these buses we waited almost 2 p 2 p.m ah, not 2 p.m 8 p.m yeah we waited since uh 6 p.m to 8 p.m no bus was coming so we had to take a bus from where we were i've forgotten the place it's called six something we had to take a bus to Spice Town. Again, bought another bus from Spice Town to uh, our home. We waited for the bus. I think it's because it was uh, 
the bank holiday. That's why the buses were not there. Police. Blue sky luxury. The holiday home experts. Luxury Night Frank huh? Charles Duncan Royal Highway Spice Town Caldesac Checker Hall The Barbados Hotel and the Tourism Association Right now it sounds he back. So I think we should drop it this one. Or which one is going to spice down? Just watch where this bus is going. Oh it's going that way and then spice down is this way. Buses are plenty, and when I was looking for them yesterday, they were not there. We gotta take the break down. There's a beautiful roundabout here. It's actually far. I told you when you're walking on the coastline, you think you're just here. But in the real sense, you're actually very far. You cover the long distance. Reach down express. So let me give you that view. Do you like it? There's a doctor's office here. I do you not carry a charger and my phone is running low. So let me brush up, hurry up, finish, then we can go. Hey! Airport! Going to Christchurch. What was it written? Plenty of birds inside here. They ran away. Police ambulance. Or is it a police van? Do you see that structure, guys? I want to try and reach there. If I reach there, I'll count myself as a. Uh, I've explored all this area. The problem is my charge is not. 